All right, so today we're going to get into the integral test and the p-test. And the integral test is basically what I have written up here. If you have the sum of a sub n, an infinite series, and the integral of f of x, where we're going to let a sub n basically equal to f of x. Now, f of x is a function. It's continuous. It's differentiable. Therefore, we can take the integral of it. Either both converge or they both diverge. Now, a sub n is not something you can usually take an integral of because it's just a series which is every number individually. It doesn't have all the points in between them. It's nice, nice and continuous. So we're going to write a new function f of x which basically looks a lot like a sub n and it works for all the individual points but we're going to take the integral of that particular one. So there's a little bit of a fine you know, fine tuning to that that you got to worry about. But the idea is, is we're generally going to be using the integral, and if the integral converges, means it gets to a number, then the series is also going to converge. If the integral diverges, then the series is also going to diverge. And remember, we kind of talked about the series being a lot like the area under the curve. We did the area under the curve originally by doing the series of f of x times delta of x, which would be the width, and f of x is the height. So if we can do the integral of 2n over 3n squared minus 4 from 1 to infinity, if we get a number, then the series is going to converge. It won't converge to the number that we get. We don't even really care what number we get. We just have to decide whether it's going to converge or diverge. Now, this is actually called an improper integral. So it's where well, I'm going to use the notation with infinity up here. But technically, you should be having this be b, and you're going to be taking the limit as b goes to infinity. But both work the same way. So I'm going to revert back to the untechnical version of trying to actually plug in infinity. So, all right, how do we do this integral? Well, I mean, you might think of it being an arctangent or something like that, but it's just a straight up u substitution. So we're going to let u be the 3n squared minus 4, and the du would be 6n. And we've got 2n up front, so if we dn. And you can do this in terms of n's or you can write them in terms of x's. If you want to rewrite this as a 2x instead of a 2n, the problem will work exactly the same way. But it doesn't really matter too much. So we end up with the integral. This is our u. We got a 2n. And then we got a 6n dn. We got to solve for dn, which is going to be du over 6n. And a lot of people like to skip this step, but the n's cancel. 2 and the 6 become a one third out front. So the ends are gone, and you basically have du over u, which is natural log. So we've got one third ln of u, and then we're going to replug in our u, so one third ln of 3n squared minus 4, and we're going to evaluate that from infinity down to 1. Now, natural log of 3n squared minus 4. 3 times infinity squared minus 4 is basically infinity. And the natural log of infinity is, well, infinity. So it's not going to converge. It doesn't matter what I subtract out. It's going to be infinity. So this one is going to diverge. Yay. That's really it. All right, let's try the same thing for the next one. So the big deal is we're going to take our integral of 3. Let's do this one in terms of x. x squared plus 4 dx from 1 to infinity. Now this one is the arctangent. So this would be 3, and then we've got to do this over a, over 2, arctan of x over 2. And, and even if we do the integral slightly incorrect, like if we forget the over a part out front, or if we forget the over a inside, it truly doesn't matter because now we're going to do arctangent of infinity over 2, plug in our infinity. Well, arctangent, if I remember correctly, looks something like this. It goes from pi over 2 to negative pi over 2, kind of like the opposite of the tangent, or the inverse of the tangent. So arctangent of infinity is just pi over 2. And I don't even really care too much about what it becomes. It equals some sort of number. 
an arc tangent of one half is some sort of number. So you end up getting a number minus a number, which is a number, therefore it converges. We don't really care to even get this number because the area of the curve, the shaded region, is going to be a whole lot different than just the adding up of the different points, which is what the series is. So the area of the curve in the series actual values are not going to be the same at all. So for the integral test, you take the integral, if you get a number, it converges. If you don't get a number, if you get humidity or you get something that oscillates, it diverges. That's the integral test. P series are probably the most um, fun ones to use. And you basically have one rule. If you have a series that looks like so, and the value of P, which is the exponent, always has to be the exponent, is greater than one, then it converges. And if P is less than or equal to one, it diverges. So one doesn't work, one third doesn't work. Um, if you have a negative exponent, it flips up to the top and then you're adding in a whole bunch of you know, things up on the top, that doesn't work so well. You need it to be in the bottom, you need it to be bigger than one, and then it works. So, do the following series to converge or diverge? Well, P equals one, therefore it diverges. And here, P equals three, so it converges. That's it. A whole lot faster than a lot of the problems we've done so far in this chapter. Now, number nine here, the problem is it's not written out as a series, so the first thing you've got to do is figure out how to write this as a series. Well, this is 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 5 squared. So this is the series of 1 over n squared and is going from 1 to infinity. And then the p equals 2, so converges. And that's it. And a lot of these last you justify, so it converges by the p series. That's all you've got to say.